Hey guys. So, we're back with Nick. Because apparently, I'm at the hospital, he says. And uh, he's going to explain why he's going to the hospital. Now, he said he has cancer. Um, can't really know that if he didn't go to the doctors first. Uh, but, um... But I'm going to let him explain his uh, his uh, his symptoms, so that way, once you hear them, you're like, no, that's just you being fat because of all the fucking food you're eating. Because if you listen to the symptoms, it's like, yeah, that's from gaining weight. That's from eating unhealthy. But I'll let him explain it. This all started on the night of the 30th, March 30th, and I was doing an activity, as you guys know, <clears throat> shucking the corn <clears throat> for dinner. <clears throat> and all of a sudden I got a very strong squeeze pain in my left tennis ball, my left grape. There we go. We'll say grape. And I thought it had to do with what I was doing at the time. So I was like, oh, oh no, I need to kind of calm it down a little bit. I've been doing a little too much lately. As you guys know, I'm on my own these days and I'm not seeing anybody, you know, I, um, kind of waited a couple days and it just stayed it stayed and then I started going on, getting all these other symptoms and um, it feels like a constant squeeze constant squeeze it hasn't gone away and I can't tell if it's actually on the you know what or if it's kind of like in that vicinity it's hard for me to tell there's a lot of water weight down there um, but I was getting very sharp pains kind of like on the like I got something really sharp yesterday in the kitchen I was like oh. Oh my gosh, I had kind of like, oh my God, what was that? Um, headache, and for the past three days, something really weird has happened to me. Very extreme blurry vision, like everything just blurs. Um, and some headache, um, upset stomach, and like pain in my lower abdomen. And um, I don't have pain going to the bathroom. I go to the bathroom co constantly. There's no backup with that. Um, oh my gosh, it's so hot in here. Ah, fresh air. Ooh. And also, what else have I noticed? Well, those are the main things, just pain down there. It feels like the left side. However, if I kind of examine the grape and I give it a little gentle squeeze, ooh, um, I, I don't feel like that's the exact source of it. I think it's something slightly up one of the little tubes. In that area, it feels like I perceive it as my left gray. So basically, he feels like there's some problem with his testicle, his left testicle, a uh, sharp pain, whether on it itself, you know, prostate uh, cancer, uh, testicular cancer. It could be one of those. It could be just the fact that he's fat and there's a lot. He says water weight. It's not water weight there, Nick. Water weight goes away fairly easily with some minor activity. You know, it, water is not that hard to burn up. It's like you heat up your body a little bit and that stuff starts burning away. So it's not water weight. It's pure fat. And you're getting these symptoms because you eat copious amounts of food every fucking day and you don't fucking work out. That is why you're feeling like this. He says he has no problem going to the bathroom. Yeah, no shit. I mean, you see the kind of stuff he eats. That kind of stuff will make you go to the bathroom. You know, a lot of Taco Bell. Taco Bell, infamous for fucking, uh, you know, flushing everything out. So... Yeah, that's why he doesn't have a problem. It's not like um, he's eating a lot. I mean, I know cheese will cause constipation sometimes, but uh, he's clearly eating enough other junk to where, you know, it flushes everything out. I mean, I can only imagine what his shit looks like most days. Um, but this isn't from, you know, this is from you eating so much. Now, if he is legit and he is, in fact, actually experiencing these symptoms, you know, then for all the people who say, oh, it's just a joke, well, like I said, clearly something's going on. You know, another, another person said the same thing. It's like, who can, you know, it's like you said, who cares if it's a joke? Clearly, this guy is not healthy. So 
if he's acting or joking, his body doesn't know that. You know, his body is clearly not in on the joke. His body essentially is the fucking joke. Um, so he talks about that, uh, goes into the, the hospital or a doctor or wherever. I mean, thinking he's dying of cancer because that's what he said it was. But here he is, perfectly happy and jolly, and oh, ho, ho, look at me. Oh, ho, ho. You know, how long has it been going on for? How bad is the pain? So, they... So, he sits there, and then he does this, like, weird, stupid little, uh, where is it? Well, he starts crying out of nowhere. Is it? No, I think it's back more. Where is it? It's fucking hilarious. Okay. You know, that reminds me of... Actually, let me bring it up real fast to, sh to show you. This guy. See his face? Looks at... <laughs> it's awfully similar, isn't it? <laughs> we got Nick and Crash. Both of them essentially making the same goddamn face. I feel worse for Crash. I mean, you know, he just, he's just so sad. You know, and you feel bad for him. But I, I, I don't feel bad for this guy at this point. You know, I know people say, you know, it's an act. Some people say, oh, well, you know, you can only do so much if he's not wanting to help himself and but it's like I said, people look at this and they think it's good, uh, a good lifestyle. Like, oh my God, look at all the, the viewers and all the subscribers and all the money. I mean, some people are more than willing to put their morals aside to make money. Prime example, he knows he's getting fat because of what he's doing. He's experiencing all these symptoms uh, because of what he's doing. And as I said, I'm not that fucking big. But if someone my size is experiencing some kind of uh, essential discomfort, uh, he's only 5'5". Five five. He's 5'5", five five, 300 plus pounds, close to 400. So you know goddamn well he's experiencing shit. So as I said before, who cares if it's a fucking act? Who fucking cares? His body is clearly breaking down. So it's really a matter of when it breaks down. When is his body finally going to just give up and say, nope, I'm done. I'm fucking done. This might be my thumbnail. <laughs> uh, definitely. So basically, Nikocado, so the title will probably be Nikocado Avocado at the hospital, and this will probably be the thumbnail. Thinking about all the times he shit his pants. I mean, it's Remember back in, when I first started covering him? It's just because he was shitting his pants all the fucking time. I mean, what kind of loose asshole do you have to have for you to constantly shit yourself? But now it's gone from just shitting himself to fucking full-blown, uh, uh, you know, bodily harm. So, it's like Chris. Ah, the good old days where things were simple. You know, before Chris did what he did, same thing with Nick. But, um... Yeah, that'll probably be... Maybe not the up-close one. Maybe one like that. I want to, like, draw something on there, like, little googly eyes or some crap. But, um... Yeah. So he's saying he's experiencing pain in his lower abdomen. Uh... Testicles are one of them at least is hurting and might have testicular cancer Remember a lot of the foods he's eating now if you have that stuff once in a while you're you know less prone to get it But 
he eats junk food all the fucking time. You know? Okay, so for like me, for instance, I don't eat a lot. In fact, I can say most of the time, I have like one of these a day, and this is for the entire can, 190 calories. 190 calories a day I'm getting. I'll have this, and I may have a couple pieces of bread to, you know, because, I mean, I don't have a microwave right now to heat it up, so I just open the can, take some bread, dunk it in, and eat it that way. But this is pretty much what I'm living on right now. This and chicken noodle soup. Like I said, one can a day. So, I'm not eating a whole lot. Um, but him... He's eating several thousand more than what he's supposed to a day. So for me, it's easier to lose weight sometimes eating a little. I mean, even if it's one thing, it's still got a lot of sodium, it's still got a lot of carbs, 9% dietary fiber, 20 grams of sugar, 4% uh, calcium, 6% iron, 35% potassium. So one can is kind of useful. Um, I know I should be eating more, but most times I just don't really feel like doing it. So I'll have a can of soup, some bread, and then I pretty much drink all day. You know, like the, you see the instances where I might come home and I might say, oh yeah, I found these at Dollar General, but those are getting far, you know, further and fewer. Because, uh, I mean, I've tried everything I wanted to there. Um, so, I mean, I still have something I bought yesterday along with those cookies. It's some fucking, uh, like, kettle corn. I've never had that uh, brand, so I'll probably make a video later. But, you know, I'm not him. I'm not eating thousands of calories a day. In fact, I'm getting less. You know, like I said, 190 a grown male is supposed to get like two, three thousand a day. I'm getting way less than that. So, no, I am not overeating or I'm not just like him. Um, I don't eat enough. One, because I can't afford it. Two, by the time I get home, I just don't feel like it. Um, so... But this guy, plus he's making all this money. I, I make jack shit from this channel, so. You know, it's not like I'd be eating here for, for money or anything. Him, he is more than enough time. We, I mean, we just talked about this the other day. It's like, even if the dude's dying of cancer, he's still going to do it. So he may, in fact, have testicular cancer. With all the fucking junk food he eats. You know, and even if uh, it's, if it is, I guarantee he's still not going to stop. I mean, because cancer treatment's not exactly easy and not exactly cheap. So he's going to be like, well, got to make the money for it somehow. Better keep making my videos. It's got to pay for it somehow, right? So... <laughs> It's sad that one person has gotten to this point where if you assume that everything that's happened to him is true, the cracked ribs, the heel spur, the all that, it, he, he's slowly killing himself. So, like I said, even if it's all an act, clearly he's getting fat. I mean, you can, where is it? Like, uh, let me see. There's one of him sitting up there. Like, look at that. I'm not even that big. Like, you can... Like, look at... Look, this is, you know, because of the, the shirt. It's pretty loose on me. My body isn't like that. Like I said, I, you know, being six foot four, you know, it distributes a lot differently. But... <laughs> 
clearly not healthy. And even if you say, oh, he's not that big, gaining all that weight all of a sudden, like look at him a year ago, a year and a half ago when he was like thin, er, and then all of a sudden he just puts on all this weight. That's not good for the body. So, but yeah, he said he's in the hospital and he says he has stuff down here for like um, curing cancer on great diet and, you know, but um, yeah. He did it to himself. Did it to himself. Anyways, that's gonna do it for me. Just thought you guys would be interested to see this. You know. But you guys know the drill. I'll see you guys later. Bye guys.